The, the owner of a popular Oregon District restaurant is headed to prison. Good evening. I'm Michelle Kingsfield. And I'm Mark Allen. Last month, a jury found Eva Christian guilty of insurance fraud, making false alarms, and engaging in a pattern of corrupt activity. Megan Rourke was at the sentencing today and tells us how long Christian will be locked up. Megan? Mark, nine years. That's the sentence the judge handed down despite Christian's repeated emotional pleas for probation. Judge Barbara Gorman was not persuaded and instead had some harsh words for the woman she called dangerous. Eva Christian, business owner turned prison inmate. It's a transformation that started more than two and a half years ago when the Boulevard House restaurant owner committed a series of crimes in order to get insurance money, something she still denies. While I cannot stand up here and confess to a crime that I have not committed, after all, why would I have done all that I'm accused of if that I'm accused of doing when I wasn't even the beneficiary? Last month, after a three-week-long trial, a jury found that Christian was guilty of staging crimes at her Washington Township home and her former Miami Township restaurant, Cena. Now, these offenses sound nonviolent, but your plan could have hurt a lot of people. Uh, perhaps this community was lucky in that you conspired with people who didn't do a good job at what you asked them to do. Judge Barbara Gorman scolded Christian for soliciting someone to blow up Cena, and when that plan failed, setting fire to it herself. You still, in spite of all the evidence against you, come in and say you didn't do anything. That makes you a very dangerous person because you don't care about other people, and I don't think you have a conscience. Christian interrupted the judge several times during the short sentencing, begging for leniency. I will do whatever it takes, and I will not, I will not break any laws. But Judge Barbara Gorman was not convinced and sentenced Christian to nine years in prison and ordered she pay back more than $80,000 in restitution. And after serving her time, Christian, who is a German citizen, could face deportation. Now, the future of Boulevard House remains unclear tonight. I tried calling the restaurant this afternoon. However, I got an answering machine, and my message has not been returned. Reporting live, Megan O'Rourke, 2 News.